is Marie Phillips. I'm an apprentice at Triad Stage, and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these doohickeys. It is an icosahedron. What's an icosahedron? Well, it's a polyhedron with 20 faces. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape with several faces, typically more than six. To explain what exactly that means, a ball could not be considered a polyhedron because it needs to have sharp, clear faces. So for example, in this icosahedron, its 20 faces are all triangles. So another thing that's kind of neat about an icosahedron is as you see it presented right here, you might see that it like pokes out on the top and then it wraps around in the middle and it pokes out on the bottom. Well, let's say I hold it by another point. It's exactly the same. Oh, no, let, let me try again. Oh, look, it's exactly the same. Point, wrap, point. Another cool thing about icosahedrons is if you focus in on just one point, you'll very clearly see a pentagon. A pentagon is a shape with five edges. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And you can do this on any point. They're all gonna be pentagons just like that. So just as a quick note, this project has a few sharp objects and is also a little more difficult than the average project. So younger crafters may need some help with this one. So yeah, so this is an icosahedron. Now I'm gonna show you how to build it. You will need straws, a pair of scissors, fishing line, and a sewing needle. The first thing you're going to do is take your straw up to the ruler and let's start with four inches. If you want to do less or you want to do more, that's totally fine. In fact, if you want to do the whole straw so you don't need the ruler, that's also okay. All right, but I'm just going to do four inches, so I'm going to cut it right there four inches. Once you have cut 30 straws that are all the same size, you're going to take your fishing line and put it through the sewing needle. And then you're going to take five of your straws and poke the needle through the tops of each of them until you have this. So you can see I made a little circle here and I tied it all off at the end. So I have five straws all sewed together at the top. Then I'm going to take this bundle and I'm going to hold up one straw and poke it through my sewing needle again with the fishing line. And to this end I'm going to add four straws. Once I have tied off the four straws to the other end, you can see now I have this one straw which with each end tied together with four other straws. And now we're gonna make our first triangle. So to make a triangle, I'm going to take two straws that are right next to my double-ended straw and I'm going to put these two ends together. So I'll give you a closer look of that. So I've got these two ends together and add three more straws. So you might see a pattern here which is that every point that we create has five straws. So if you're wondering, hmm, I'm adding these two together, how many straws should I add? It should be three because every point will have five straws. Okay, now as you see, I have formed a triangle and have three more straws on the top. So we have a triangle with each point having three extra straws tied together. Now I'm going to take one of the edges of this triangle and form another triangle. So I'm going to take this blue edge 
and put these two red edges together. So then we have, we're going to create something, a little something that looks like this. And I will add three straws to these two red ends. Okay, so now you can see I have two triangles all sewed together. And this end, we only have two straws. So I think it's time for us to make our first pentagon. So now I am going to take this green straw and this yellow straw and sew that together and again add three straws to that. All right, so now I've got three triangles and just one more straw down at their beaming point. So we're going to have our first three point connection to make a pentagon. And we'll add two straws again, because every point has five straws. All right, so now I have formed my first pentagon, which is a again, a five sided shape. And it is made out of five triangles. And it also has five points at each end and each five points has two straws. So now we're going to go back to plain old triangles. You can take any edge of your pentagon and make a new triangle. And then again, add three straws. Great, now that I have added this triangle to the edge of my pentagon, you may notice that you have another end with just one straw. So again, I will create a three part connecting point and add two straws. Great, so now I have this and you'll notice now that you have two ends with lone straws. So you can start from either one. So you almost kind of see the shape there. So just keep following the pattern and connecting the five points. Specifically finding that lone one, connecting the three, and adding two more straws. Remember, always let that one lone straw be the center of the three points coming together. Eventually, you will get to the point where you see that there are two lone straws next to each other. This means that you can connect four existing straws and just add one. Once you've connected those four points together and added a straw, you'll notice that you don't have any straws left. And exactly five loose ends. So all you have to do is sew those straw ends together. Aha! Uh -huh. And there you have it. You have just built an icosahedron. I hope you had fun with this project. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like these, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, check out the Triad Stage Learning Program Facebook. And if you're able to, a donation to Triad Stage can go a very, very long way. 